During CES, there was a lot of new Samsung Pro tablet coverage. And I thought, nah, there's no way I'm gonna be really interested in these things. But then I walked into a local Best Buy and I thought, man, these are pretty nice. Maybe I should pick one of these up. And I really thought I was gonna pick up the 12.2 because of its larger size. Bigger is better, right? But I ended up picking up the 8.4. Let me tell you why. Ever since the release of the iPad mini with Retina display and the Nexus 7, I've been a huge fan of more portable tablets. I just love the way they feel in the hand and they're less bulky when you carry them around. So when I saw this Tab Pro 8.4, especially with this 2560 by 1600 resolution display with the Snapdragon 800 and 8 megapixel camera, I knew I had to check this thing out. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing, but since it's been winter and it's a nice day outside, let's go ahead and go outside and unbox this bad boy. So here it is, the Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, and it is available for $399 for a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model, and you can increase storage for more money, and I'm assuming that there will be a cellular version to come. The Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 is available in white, or black colors, but I decided to go with the white because I had a black Galaxy Note 3, just wanted something different. And in the box, you get the micro USB to USB cord. You also get the standard power brick from Samsung, matching color here. And you also get a quick start guide if you don't know how to use this device. And owning a Galaxy has its rewards. It's just a card that takes you to the website that you can get a few goodies from software upgrade instructions if you don't know how to upgrade the software and of course some warranty stuff so let's go ahead and remove the plastic off the back and the front there's some plastic around the camera module and all the sides of the device well all right let's go ahead and do a quick hardware tour on the bottom you will see the familiar home button along with two capacitive buttons flanking it up top you will see the samsung logo the ambient light sensor, and the 2 megapixel front facing camera capable of 1080p video. And on the back, you will see the 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash. On the right side, you'll find a microphone, a power button, the volume rocker switch, and the IR blaster, which will let you control your TV. And even though this thing only has 16 gigabytes of storage, there's SD card slot right there so you can expand it. On the bottom, you have dual stereo speakers and the USB port for charging and connectivity. As I was stating before, one of the main reasons that I got the 8.4 is because of the portability and the way it feels in the hand. And the bezels are fairly small and it fits just fine into the palm of my hand. And I love the actual faux leather texture that's on the back. It's fairly grippy and it's much better than that hyperglaze plastic. And as you can see, this looks exactly like the Galaxy Note 3 with the fake leather stitching. Here is the Tab Pro 8.4 next to the iPad mini with Retina display. And as you can see that the iPad mini is definitely wider and the Tab 8.4 is taller. So they're fairly comparable in size, but you're definitely gonna be able to notice the difference. Right here, you can see the width difference here, and then the height difference is definitely noticeable. So stay tuned to my channel for I will be pitting these two together and I'll let you know which one is the best bang for your buck. Here is the 8.4 all booted up. I didn't want to bore you with the boot up sequence for all the Samsung ones are the same, but this is the controversial Magazine UX user experience that they showed at CES and we thought that it might not exist. But basically what this is, is it's just a UX that is powered by Flipboard. So there's a lot of Flipboard components in it. And you can see that some of the UX is a little bit lighter with white accents, but I'll definitely go into this more in the full review. So let me know what you want to see. Now the best part of this is that it is running 4.4.2 KitKat right out of the box. So that is great. We don't have to wait for an update or anything like that. So you're going to get the latest Android experience right out of the box with the Tab Pro 8.4. I thought that the TouchWiz experience was going to be dramatically different on this tablet, but it actually is not. It's basically TouchWiz with some Flipboard components mixed in in the UI. Maybe I'll find some subtle differences after I use the tablet a little more, but holding it in landscape mode, it feels great in the hand, it's not very heavy at all, and it fits perfect into the palm of my hand, so I know I'm going to like using this tablet, and I love 
the faux leather texture that is on the back of it. It's not slippery, it feels good in the hand, but I'll definitely let you know what I think about it in the full review. There is one thing on first inspection that I have to tell you is that this is probably one of the best displays that I've ever seen on a tablet. The color replication is great, the sharpness is incredible, and the viewing angles are great also. So I'll definitely let you know if I think that this display is better than the iPad mini with Retina display. Off initial impression, I think that the color replication is actually better on the 8.4, but I'll dig into this a little more and definitely let you know in the future. The powerful Snapdragon 800 with 2GB of RAM is definitely doing its work, 22600 on Quadrant and 34882 on the Antutu benchmark. The one thing that I appreciate Samsung tablets and their Note line for is their ability to multitask and it's very very easy you just swipe to the right right there and it brings up a list of applications that you can use and you just drag them right there. Super easy to multitask and it's very fast, minimal bog and it's just very good for productivity and I love this about their tablets and their Note line so I can't wait to use this a little more and see how this performs on a day to day basis. All right, well, I have a lot of investigating to do for I'm definitely gonna pin this up against the iPad mini with Retina display. I can't wait to see how they match up together since they are the same price. I wanna see which one is the best one for your money and which one that is actually my personal favorite after a couple weeks of use. For this tablet here, definitely looks promising. You know I love mobile gaming, so I'm definitely gonna let you know how the CPU and GPU perform on the Tab Pro 8.4. And I will let you know if this eight megapixel camera on the tablet is actually worth anything. For most tablet cameras are pretty much trash, so I'm just gonna let you know if this is any different. Well guys, that does it for me for the unboxing and the initial impressions. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see the full review and the pinning against the iPad mini with Retina display. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific and ask me any questions, especially what you wanna see in the full review and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and I will see you in the next video.